All right, finally made it by here by the water. I'm out here at Ponce Inlet. It's freaking blowing out here. It's probably like 25 mile per hour winds. But I'm gonna be on the inlet side. Stay away from it a little bit. See if we can get on any fish down here. I think right now it's a uh, outgoing tide. It's almost the end of outgoing tide. So hopefully we can get on sheep's head or something like that. A couple dozen live shrimp. Shout out to Donald's Bait and Tackle. That's where I get all my bait from. Always hooking it up. Nice people there. If you're out here in Daytona area. Swing by there and get some bait. Alright, we're gonna start off with uh, I think I got a half ounce bottom sweeper. Hook them right behind the tail. Just like that. Send them out there. That looks like it's ripping, so I might have to switch to something a little heavier. I think I'm already getting a bite. Either a bite or I'm getting stuck. If you come to Ponce Inlet, just make sure you bring some extra rigs because you're definitely going to lose them out here with all these rocks. Probably shouldn't do this because I'll probably break the tip, but let me see if I can get it out. Oh, I didn't even have to uh, swing it in there. Got it out. Something definitely bit it though. Shrimp number two. If you live in Florida, you know this past week has been crazy weather. It's been cold in the beginning of the week. It got hot again. This weekend dropped back down to 60 right now. So hopefully we can get on a fish because it's been crazy weather. Hoping I can take a sheep's head home or something because I haven't been fishing in, in a while and I haven't brought something home. so. That's definitely the goal, is something to take home. Here we go. Oh, flounder, nice. It's gonna be way too small, but. Had me all up in there. Nice little flounder. Switch to something a little heavier. I think it might be like an ounce. Bottom sleeper jig, one ounce. Keep it, keep it from going in the current, but cut that nice. Well, not the best release, but he was too small anyways. All right, that's what we're looking for, something. Finally got it. All right, let's see if we can find some more fish. I think they changed the regulations to 14 inches on flounder. Definitely have to catch something big to take home. But that's a start. There's some manatees down there. I think it was a pair of swimming down. Try my best not to lose this one because I don't have that many heavy ones. I think this is my only one. Everything else is like a half ounce. Beginning a few buys, but I haven't been able to go up on any of them. I don't know if they're small or they get me in the rocks or what. But this is my third liter I've tied on, so I gotta get on some fish. Like I said, you guys gotta come prepared if you guys if you come to Ponce Inlet. It's a lot of rocks out here. Just broke off the whole liter again. I think I'ma just try to free line a shrimp. See if we can find them like that. That wind's blowing on this side. It's crazy. It's gotta be little fish because they just bit them in half. We've got a few people out here making use of the wind, uh, kiteboarding or whatever they call that.
go. Oh, we got another fish. Feels nice. I don't know what it is, though. Hopefully, it's that sheep's head we were looking for. Dang, I didn't even realize I was that far out there. It was better than I thought. Might be a flounder because it's hugging the bottom. Oh, it's a huge sheep's head. Oh yeah, big sheep's head. Let's see if we can grab him real quick. There we go. Yes sir, this is what we are after. I'm not even gonna measure him because I know he's a keeper. Look at that. On a shrimp. We're gonna hook him out here out of the water. I don't wanna lose him. I'll get a measurement on him just to see how big he really is. Probably like 15, 16 inches. Let's see right now. All right, so he is 16 inches. So he's definitely coming home. Now we're getting somewhere. That's it, we can do it again. Came out to a different spot. Wasn't having any more luck at Point Simlet. See what we can get out here by under this bridge. See if we can find a fish. Hopefully the wind ain't too bad either because it's blowing right here. I'm gonna be battling the current and the wind. The current's going one way and the wind's going the other. Let's see if we can. People's trash. Oh, there we go. I don't know what this is. Oh, he's got me around the thing. It's probably going to bring me off. Oh, he broke me off. Dang it. It's probably a snook or something. I guess he wrapped me around the piling because I lost my whole leader. Dang, as soon as it hit the water, he got me. Oh. Time to retie and see if we can find something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I do have a fish, a flounder. I was reeling it up and I didn't even realize I had a fish. Might not be a keeper though. Nice little flounder. I don't think he's gonna be 14. He might be, this is 13. He might be 14, cause this is 13. I'm gonna take a measurement in the truck. Fifteen inch flounder. It's going in the cooler too. I lost that big fish, but it paid off catching this one. Oh, that's two fish in the cooler. 